The feast. The feast yes. of feasts. Oh my lord, that is so good. Incredible fresh fish. That is so good. The tortilla <laughs> cheese. That sauce is yep. absolutely the winner. Holy guacamole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jay, thank you so much for doing this with me, man. Thank you so much for giving me your most precious resource, time, and taking interest in what we do. It's a blessing. I'm so excited, and I'll tell you why. I actually came here the other day okay. because I don't just want to be a fanboy <laughs> because it's yours. We had a few meals. We loved it, and that was what cemented uh, it for me. So before we even order some food, I, I just want to ask one question, and then we can get straight to it. Sure. You are this celebrated musician. You've had a long career with Mikasa. I can only imagine this place is crazy responsibility and you seem to be a perfectionist. Yes. So how are you juggling music, family and a restaurant? What made you do this? My biggest interest in life and my biggest curiosity is in my own potential. If I only have one life and I feel like I want to do something, I want to chase that. I love entertaining people. It's my passion. Whatever it is that I do, yes. it's actually all about trying to birth and curate a special moment for people. Yes. So this is part of it. This is an extension. This is an addition to my crazy, cool journey of life where I get to express and try and make people happy uh, so I'm doing this because this is what I love artistry is a cultural platform this is a, a three level experience in the heart of Sanson so we have a restaurant we also have a listening bar downstairs and we've got a hundred seats at theater the culmination of those three spaces is what the artistry classic experience is. the reason why we're having a lot of fun is because the people are happy my people are happy and then to get to see people like you guys come and eat and feel happy that's just the added bonus, you know what I'm saying? So like when you look around and you see people happy, that's the joy. And I can see it on your face, it's clear. Yeah, yeah. And I love it, it resonates so deeply with me. The idea of artistry, how long have you been working on this idea specifically? Uh, obviously you've just opened a, a few weeks ago, so run me through the lead up to opening up the Yes, restaurant. I mean, uh, I think context is important. I'll try and make it as quick as possible. You know, like I've always wanted to marry food and entertainment in an interesting way, in a unique way. It's not about comparison. It's just about that personal desire to create unique things. Like when you're writing a song, you know, you don't want to just go and write a Bruno Mars type song because it works. Okay. You want to allow your spirit and your creativity and your unique talent to come out in its unique way. So for a big part of my life, I've wanted to marry food and entertainment in an interesting way. Specifically, artistry as a brand has been worked on for the last two and a half years. We've been trying to figure out the semantics of, of it all. Of course. But yeah, two and a half years, I would say. Brother, I am so excited. So <laughs> let's get into the nitty gritty. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord. <laughs> You the feast. <laughs> the feast. The feast yes. of feasts. Okay, let's run through something meaty. Maybe the croquette is easy to start yes. with, right? Yes. This is a roasted mushroom croquette with mushroom. cheese, potato, served with a ranch dressing, which I think is quite a nice contrast. Yes. Oh, here's the bum. I'm biased because I really love croquettes. <laughs> <laughs> Such a simple thing, you know. You've got potato, mushrooms that are roasted with a, a yep. few herbs. Deep fried to perfection. Run me through your thinking around each one of the things that you put on the menu. You obviously, I assume you would have had like a whole bunch of things you originally thought about putting yes. on and how you wired down to these things. Everything that we do here, not just the menu, the interior, the music, the drinks, the whole thing is based on the classics. Classics. Yes. Stood the test of time. Uh, you know, the revolution comes in the freshness, yes. in the love, and in everything being done to order. That's all it is. The inspiration was so easy. We just had to go back in time, and we needed to go and find most authentic recipes to do something, and do them exactly the same way. Because yes. they just work. There is. Oh my lord, that is heaven. Oh, good, man. So yeah. when a restaurateur says, I'm going to pick these smaller things, but I'm just going to do them really well. Yes. That's, that's exactly it. It's, it's focus is key, you know? So yes. just have great food that tastes really nice. Have great service. Have great music. Great drinks. Yes. And hopefully by that, you will actually birth what we want to birth in, which is happiness. This is how I grew up eating. Prawns done in a beer butter sauce. You got hints of paprika, garlic, lemon juice. For the gumbush, we just add a little dash of cream right at the end just to finish it off and make it glossy. Oh my goodness. That is... My God. That is... So I grew up in the south of Johannesburg. Where did you grow up? Mm. <laughs> Tricky question. I was born in Portugal. I grew up in the south of Portugal. Okay. In the Algarve, which is where all the beaches Ooh. are. And uh, I then grew up in the Eastern Cape when I moved here. Went to Stellenbosch to study marketing. And then came to Joburg looking for a job. <laughs> and then uh, here I am. <laughs> okay, so I am a pure sucker for sauce. And let yes. me tell you, if you know me, you know that this <laughs> is the mixture. If you can take a little bit of bread, that sauce is yep. absolutely the winner. There's no Thank question you. about Thank that. You. 
Shorty is something I'm also like super passionate about because it's something that I grew up with, obviously. And a friend of mine, Nuno, he owns a, a factory in Joba called Fama. And he's a Portuguese guy. And he, in my opinion, makes the best shorties in, in South Africa, by far. So he's our supplier. All we do to it, we just slice it up, put it into a pan, get some nice color on it, heat it up a little bit. And then we bring it to the table, and we flambe it at the table with 1920, which is uh, aguardente, yes. which is traditional, also Portuguese way of doing it. The, the real talent here is with Nuno, the yes, guy that made the Yes, it's the product shorties. itself. Good yes. quality product. What about? Certain things don't need to be mm. messed with. The flavor is all in the sausage, it's there. The flambe just brings out that little bit of flavor. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things to eat. South Africa's great seafood producers. We've got incredible fresh fish. Tuna specifically is one of my favorites. So we wanted to take a classic, something that's maybe perceived as more elevated, fresh tuna that then we just dice up with a lot of loves and we just fold through an in-house wasabi mayo that we make and to that we add capers, fresh bay leaves and we season red onions, chives. The idea is that you grab one of these deep fried tortilla chips and you take out the fanciness of a tartare because it shouldn't be that fancy and you enjoy some fresh west coast tuna in the heart of Santa. Okay, here we go. Here Cheers. We go, mm. You're right. That is so good. The hints of the lemon coming through. Yes. And you can definitely taste the freshness. Also, I really like the cucumber and the red mm. onion, the texture that it adds. <laughs> that is good. Listen, I've got an idea for you. What mm. you do is, if you want to make a bit of extra money, you just come with that sultry voice of yours <laughs> and you read it to the people yes. like you're doing to me because now I'm getting like a little food hard yes. on just listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> Coming up. Now we're moving on to guacamole. Holy guacamole. Yeah. <laughs> I think we make guac at home probably once a week. We love it with so many different things. We love making tacos at home. I think guac is a great little add-on to a curry. Sometimes mm. when you're eating like a like a bean curry, we make bean curry often on a Monday. Well, we have uh, to do tortilla <laughs> cheese. Oh, Lord. Good, brother. Jay, as I tuck into this prawn yes, goodness, what, what does travel look like to you? What are your travel habits? I, I'm so fortunate that I get to travel so much around South Africa because of my work, you know, so I, I've been around a fair share of places. <laughs> Recently now, we went to Cape Town on a family little holiday, which was really great. But I like I like the bush in the Eastern Cape. That's one of my favorite getaways. You know, I love our country, man. Like, We've got so many different things that we can do. You know, you've nailed it. What it is, the classics exactly as you've said. You haven't messed around with it too much, but you've focused all on the prep and the quality, and it really does shine through. This was absolutely spot on. You know, I think perfection in this type of industry is a misconception. We are trying every day to become better at what we do. For me, the restaurant experience is an amazing experience. I grew up in it my whole life. My mom owned a restaurant for 18 years. My dad worked in food and beverage his whole life. So growing up in it, I always appreciated a great restaurant. And I just wanted to add some of my personal passions, which is art and entertainment. And I think that we onto something. Getting to witness someone create with love and hand it over to other yeah, people, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. a very beautiful thing. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys being here. And all I ask of anybody that watches this video is that when you do come here, that you come with love in your heart, that you come with a, with a graceful spirit, and that you just come to lay back, be at home, and uh, just have a good time and hopefully add on to the special memories that we actually end up dying with, you know? That's I love it. that. Thank you for your time, brother. Merci, bro. I love everybody. Peace. <laughs>